I don't think I like it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today, there has been a lot of noise around two specific products that has pretty much taken over Instagram, TikTok, pretty much everything. And I'm here to see what the hype is all about. Of course, I'm going to be finally testing the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo CC Cream. This has been highly recommended as a dupe for the IT Cosmetics. I mean, it pretty much looks the same in all honesty. It has silver in there. The layout is the same in regards to the packaging. And there are some similar benefits as well. I mean, the biggest difference here is the IT Cosmetics is SPF 50 plus, I believe. And this one is only SPF 30. So at the moment, that is the only difference that I can see. I wish I still had the IT Cosmetics with me so I could do it side by side. I have tried it, it is absolutely amazing. It is, of course, very expensive. Hence why, obviously, I really wanted to try the dupe because this one is only £14, whereas the IT Cosmetics is... I want to say 30 something, but I'm not quite sure. I will also be testing out the famous mascara that I believe has pushed the brand to launch two months earlier than expected. And that's the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara. I have been wanting to test out both of these products for a very long time, so I thought it would be fitting to dedicate a whole video on testing these out. So let's not waste any more time and let's just get into the video. I was very skeptical when looking at the shades because there didn't seem to be that many. There are 20 shades, which is, you know, a good start, but it's not amazing. When it comes to my skin, I have fair skin. I have a cool undertone. So when it came to looking at this product, there was only one option for fair cool undertone and that was 150. So before we get started I just want to say that I am wearing moisturiser, I've cleansed my skin but I've not put on primer purely just because I want to give it the full test you know so I won't be using primer. I am literally testing this for everything. This product does not say that it helps with acne or it conceals acne, it just says that it's a medium to full coverage. So of course I'm just naturally going to be testing whether or not it works over acne, pigmentation, things like that. So this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. As you can tell it's, it's darker than my actual skin tone. It's a little bit orange, it has a bit of pink in there. So whether or not this will match my skin tone, I don't know. I'm just gonna be using the Real Cosmetics foundation brush and I was gonna be testing it out with the makeup sponge on one side and a brush on the other, but honestly, I've not washed them, so. We're going with a brush today. The formula itself looks really, really creamy and I feel like it will be good for all skin types. I have combination skin, so some of my areas are dry, some of my areas are oily. So I'm going to be very interested to see how this covers. I've only put a little bit on the side of my cheek right now and it looks like it gives pretty good coverage. I mean... It's neutralized the redness of my acne and my pigmentation. I did two pumps, but I feel like I should have just gone with the one. Now I feel like I'm gonna have excess product. Just gonna put it over my eye as well, just to hide some of the redness, but that is what it looks like from a close-up. As you can see, it's neutralized the redness. It actually feels like a really lightweight formula as well, so it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin. I'm actually really liking this. I thought I'd have to put concealer on underneath my eye just to get rid of the redness, but in all honesty, this has pretty much neutralized it, and it looks really good actually. The coverage, I would definitely say it's a medium to full coverage, more on the full side, purely just because it has completely covered all of my acne and all of my pigmentation. There's nothing coming through. The finish is a little bit more sheer than I would have liked. From here, it definitely looks slightly greasy. So what I will do is I'll just pop on 
I think I'm gonna pop on a little bit of concealer here and here I'm gonna use a darker shade just so it sort of mutes back the the texture of the acne and I think I'm gonna leave my under eye actually I don't think I'm gonna put anything underneath my eye this has gone on really really well I am so impressed so now I'm just gonna go in with concealer I'm gonna use Essence Cosmetics camouflage matte concealer I use this all of the time it's pretty much my go-to and I'm just gonna directly put that on my spots and now what I'm going to do is set my face because honestly I feel like it's so sheer and I'm going to be using the elf halo glow setting powder I think because of how sheer this looks I'm just going to dab it lightly everywhere because I know that it's going to get worse throughout the day it's definitely taken away some of the shine but that sheerness is definitely coming through is that even a word sheerness I don't even know. Now I'm just gonna go in with blush. I don't think I'm gonna add any bronzer, but you'll be pleased to know that I actually finally purchased a blush. So this is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach in Peach Addict. Ooh, it's got such a pretty design on the inside. How cute is that? Just gonna lightly brush that up. Just gonna put on my nose. So even after setting powder and blush that shine is still coming through so I'm just gonna just gonna use that to my advantage. That is gonna be my natural highlight. So for my eyebrows I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I love using this pencil because it's got a really fine tip and I find that it's more controlled So now we're on to mascara, definitely another product that I've been wanting, wanting to just try. I have seen amazing videos of people wearing this and it honestly looks like they're wearing falsies. Like I said, my eyelashes are pretty bad. They're, there's hardly any on there and I just feel like this is the perfect opportunity to proper test out this mascara and see if it helps, you know. So looking at the product details, it is a formula infused with bamboo extract and fibres, which is probably what's making eyelashes look so long and full. It delivers a full volume and limitless length look. Very excited. So this is what it looks like. So the brush is definitely a little bit wonky. Usually I don't like these type of brushes. I don't know why I prefer fat bristles as opposed to silicone ones, but I am slowly, slowly liking them. So this mascara says it doesn't clump and it doesn't smudge. Just doing one little layer, it definitely does not clump and well we will see throughout the day if it smudges so i've just put on another layer and done my lower lashes let me just bring you in a little bit closer so you can see so this is a close-up of the mascara this has got probably two coats i've been finding with the brush that is it's quite flimsy like it has it's not a sturdy brush so when you're applying it I feel like I feel like my eyelashes are stronger so it keeps pushing the brush back I don't know if that makes any sense I don't think I like it so this is my eyes like I said my eyelashes are very sparse and I don't have much of them they're not laterally long anyway so i don't know i don't think i like it i don't think i like the brush it's too flimsy there's just no sturdiness about it whatsoever and because of that it sort of clumps a little bit so now we're just left with putting on some lipped products i am going to be using the elf sheer slick this shade looks beautiful this is in the shade golden pear Okay, I need more of these because that was beautiful. That was like the creamiest lipstick I've, is it even a lipstick? 
a sheer slick. I have no idea, but this is beautiful. That shade is also very, very nice. So here is the final look. I, yeah, I would definitely use these for an everyday look. The mascara, sad to say that I am not a fan, purely just because, like I said, the brush is too flimsy, there's no sturdiness, it clumps easily because of that. The foundation, I absolutely love. I would definitely say it's a dupe for the It Cosmetics. So this is what my skin looks like. I'm just stood right in front of a window so you could sort of see. Obviously it looks a little bit lighter than what it did. Just checking in, it's been a couple of hours. I have finished my food shop, so I have been wearing a mask, only for about 40 minutes or so, but I just wanted to come on and show you an update. The mascara has also not smudged or anything, so that is good. And then just as a bonus, I was also testing out the lipstick. As you can see, a lot of it has come off already i wasn't expecting it to stay on but my lips still feel thoroughly moisturized so i'm still impressed i'm not going to touch anything up i'm just going to leave it as is just another check-in as you can see i have washed my hair so i am in the middle of filming another video doing both of these videos in one day is probably not the best idea in all honesty a little bit of makeup has worn away obviously around my hairline, but the rest of the makeup has stayed on pretty well. It's not patchy at all. It still looks like it's glowing self. Hey guys, so coming on for the last update. Like I mentioned in the last one, I have just been filming a hair care routine. So it's been on for around seven hours, so nearly eight. But I just wanted to come on and show you an update of what my skin looks like. As you can tell, even from this distance, my skin looks very shiny. I've not touched it up. It has gone through being outside where it's been a little bit rainy. It has been through wearing a face mask for, I think, 40 minutes. It's been through me having a shower and washing my hair and then styling it. So it's gone through pretty much a lot. So just as a close up, this is what the foundation is looking like. As you can see, it's not really worn away, but overall the coverage still looks really well. With the mascara, again, it has stayed in place. It's not smudged or anything, which is really nice because I know with some mascaras, it can just smudge underneath my eye a little bit, but this one hasn't. So definitely a little bit more impressed. With the lipstick, this is obviously all worn away because I've eaten things, I've drunk things, I've worn face masks. So an overview of the CC cream. Again, I have just loved this. I've loved wearing it. It's very lightweight, so it doesn't even feel like I have anything on. With the mascara, I, I don't know. I think I'm in two minds with this. I just don't like how flexible the brushes, I feel like there's no sturdiness behind it. I feel like my eyelashes sort of like flick the brush away. And if I were to like really get in there and dig, then mascara is just going to go onto my eyelid. I will use this one again, purely just because I have it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just not feeling the hype with this one. And then again with the lipstick, this has obviously worn away. I wasn't expecting it to stay on. However, my lips are really, really like nourished and hydrated. So I would definitely recommend picking up this lipstick. I am going to go on and order a few more shades. But that is everything, that is all the updates. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've tried either of these and what your thoughts were, I'd love to know. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already and you've been loving my videos, please do subscribe as I would love to have you. And I will see you next week with a brand new video.